Now looking into very important picture that describes the anterior and posterior pituitary and its connection with the brain and how they deliver their hormones in the blood. The hypothalamo hypophyseal tract concerned with the posterior pituitary definitely consists of axons coming from the hypothalamus and taking its uh, hormonal secretion and getting into the parts nervous of posterior pituitary where they are temporarily stored and then released into the blood through capillary. Now we have to consider the hypothalamic hypophyseal portal system which is very important. Concentrate on the internal carotid artery that is going to give superior hypophyseal artery and uh, from its cavernous part it gives inferior hypophyseal artery. The superior hypophyseal artery basically gives rise to primary plexus of the hypothalamic hypophyseal portal system that give rise to the venules that again reunite to form the secondary plexus of the hypothalamo hypophyseal portal system. In this way a venous portal system is produced and comes into action and uh, they take blood full with the hormones produced in the anterior pituitary and is delivered to the target organ.